So I'm going to be showing you guys a DIY on how to make a caramel frap. It's going to be really simple. So I've already gotten my ice. I have my coffee in here. I got to take the lid off. Some whipped cream. Could be any whipped cream. This is just a non-name brand. A mason jar. This is what you're going to need. And oops. And some caramel. Which is preferably, this is the kind of caramel brand you're going to need. The one that's actually used for coffee. Not the ice cream one because it's like very thin. And yeah, so I'm going to prompt this up and show you guys. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to pour your coffee into this. And you want to pour it halfway because you don't want it to um, be too much coffee. So this is about it right here. And then I have this. I have like a certain amount of coffee left and I'm just gonna take that I'm gonna brighten it up in here so it's not like super dark okay so I have my coffee so what I'm gonna do is this coffee is strong so I'm gonna be diluting it I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to it and Because I don't like my coffee too strong. I'm just now getting into coffee. So, yeah. And once I do that, I'm going to screw this thing on. And then you want to make sure it's fully tight. So when you do it upside down, nothing's coming out. So you get this this on here you're gonna twist it like that and then I'm gonna do a time-lapse like me showing you guys so let me okay so I'm gonna take it off here and you're gonna just consistency. So open it up. And oh shoot, this is kind of messy. So if you don't like the consistency of this, you can either add more ice. It kind of spilled. You can add more ice or just keep it as is. I think I'm gonna keep it as is. And then I'm just gonna pour. I need this a bit better. Okay. So it's not like looking like I'm unprofessional. So I'm gonna pour this. I'm gonna get a napkin. I'm still gonna taste it because I don't want it to be too strong. We have different straws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna taste it a little bit to see if this is. Okay. It's not as strong, so that's what I want. I don't want it to be super strong because if this coffee. <laughs> If this coffee is too strong, it's going to make me go to the bathroom and they put like two double shots of espresso in this yesterday. And also this coffee is from Dutch Bros. This is not, this coffee is from Dutch Bros, not Starbucks, but it actually tastes better than Starbucks. So if you guys know a local one, um, should go there. I'm going to pour this in the sink because I don't want this to be messy. So I'm going to pour this in the sink and I'll be back. Okay y'all, so I'm back. I had to pour it in the sink. It got a little messy, but this is the consistency. I could have added more milk to it. This is a thicker consistency than last night because I had like other coffee last night. So all of it didn't make it into the cup, but that's okay. I just wanted to get some of the coffee. So I wouldn't have to keep putting it back in the refrigerator constantly. And what I also have behind me, I have some pizza in there. So that's why it kept beeping like that. So for the next step, oh, I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to add some whipped cream. I can also add my caramel first if I want to. I think I'm going to add it first because there's literally like no, like it's flavor, but it's not as strong. So I'm going to just pour some caramel in here. And it usually sits on top, so what I like to do is just stir it. Also, I go to work today, so I can't really just sip and chill. It's like 10.40 something right now. So then I'm just going to 
shake up my whipped cream. I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna... So you can put as much as you want. I'm just gonna film it up to that. I don't need that much cream. And now we're just gonna drink it. Okay, I honestly think this might, it's still kind of strong, so I might need to blend it again because it's not as watered down as last night, so I'm probably going to have to blend this again, but um, I don't know how I'm going to do that considering I added that in there, but that's why you try coffee first before you actually dump a bunch of toppings on it. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this DIY um, coffee at home. I know this is kind of different. I don't know how the, this is going to go. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Smash the like button and turn on that bell. Also, go follow me on my social media. It will be linked in the description box down below. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I'm on there. I'm trying to be active on there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, dear squad.